Hey everyone, welcome back to another sketching video. Last week I've been sketching the DeLorean from Back to the Future and this week I would also like to stay with the topic of time. So let's talk about speed. Why is it important and what can we take away from speed sketching techniques? All right, so let's jump right into it. As mentioned in the intro, this time around I would like to talk about speed in sketching. One of the most valuable properties of sketching is the ability to convey an idea, a product, a story or even a feeling in a very short amount of time. Every product starts with an idea and the fastest and easiest way to materialize these ideas is doing a sketch of them. Even a little scribble on a napkin in a coffee place can lead to a great product or story. The great benefit of a quick sketch is the fact that we can iterate on the idea, we can add elements to it, we can cross it off and we can simply just chug it. After all, we spent not more than a minute scribbling something down. This is the mindset we have to take with us even when we set out to do bigger and more detailed sketches. As a youngster, I always made the mistake of falling in love with my drawings. I always had those one or two lines or curves that I really loved. And even though there were some glaring mistakes in the drawing, I did not want to erase and correct them because I just love those elements mentioned before way too much. And that is where industrial design helped me tremendously. Because when I started with industrial design, I was forced to only draw with a pen. And as everyone knows, it is really hard to erase the pen stroke. So, while in the beginning I was really shy about drawing bold lines, I quickly got used to just exploring and seeing what will happen without the fear of making mistakes, because these mistakes can turn into happy little accidents, as the beloved Bob Ross used to say. And these accidents can give you ideas towards a new solution or just simply trick the beholder's eye into thinking that there is actually more visual information on the page. Also, think back of the previous videos where I was talking about creating ellipses and how it's not a problem if you have to circle around two or three times because the eye will create its own image. This sketch I did for a Facebook group called Daily Spit Paint and I chose the topics Exposed Circuitry and Fungal Overgrowth. And the goal uh, in this uh, group is to do a painting uh, under 30 minutes. Uh, I started out with a light cold grey marker and this gives you an extra layer of uh, security. But the lines are still not erasable, so the lines you put down will stay there. But the fun part is that when you start using a black fine liner or a marker, you might see new patterns forming that you didn't even intend for but fit the sketch perfectly. In my case, you can see that I didn't put any effort into drawing the detail with the marker but just left square areas open where I wanted detail later. The marker underdrawing also helps you having a better idea of what you want to place and where exactly you want to place it on the paper. And uh, let's not forget that we are talking about speedy sketching here, so I couldn't waste too much time on uh, setting up the drawing. And uh, to keep sketching fast, it's important to have a system. What they taught me at ID sketching classes is marker on the drawing, then lines, then marker colors, and then in the end detailing and highlights. But I don't necessarily stick to these methods. While I do like to start with the markers and uh, switch to the lines, you can see that once I come to the point where I start coloring or uh, shading in this case, I tend to jump back to the fine liners and add details and then jump back to the coloring again. And this comes through the need for speed and the need to present a product. When I know that I have a strict deadline with some experience, I can judge how much I can get done in that time. So planning out everything meticulously with gray markers won't make sense because then uh, the only thing I can show off is uh, like a very, very light sketch that technically nobody will understand. So what I do instead is cementing the basic 3D shapes with a light marker and then immediately jumping into the line work. I will also do a lot of ideation process which is usually done with grays with the dark lines. This will keep my sketch much looser looking and would give the impression that I'm brave and I drew almost all of it from the, from the get-go which uh, <laughs> you can see is not true. Just as important, I'll try and do the basic shading and the values as soon as possible. Having values in a sketch can convey much more information to the viewer. I would say one of the most important takeaways is to not end up with an image that is 30% detail to the max but the rest of the drawing is missing. Uh, I already had somewhat uh, a presentable sketch at minute 20 and this is when I started jumping around. So doing details then back to shading then details again and back to shading. And this way at the 30 minute mark I uh, ended up with a clear image and what I actually wanted to show. 
For this video, I kept on drawing and the final sketch is made in totally 50 minutes. But yeah, this is my main trick at being fast and secure in my lines. Do a bit of prep work, do exploration with my line work as well, and I don't strictly stick to a progression timeline. And this is what I wanted to talk about during this video. I do hope you can take something away from this video and please leave a message if you have any questions or comments. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. Also, follow me on Instagram if you want regular updates. For the next three weeks, I'll be roaming around the west coast of the USA, so I'm not sure how well I'll be able to do these videos, but I promise I'll try my best. So hopefully see you guys next week, maybe? But yeah, bye-bye.